Well, welcome to State of Affairs. I'm Steve Adubato coming to you from the Agnes Veras NJTV studio here in Newark, New Jersey. We are pleased to welcome Brendan Gill. He's a Democratic strategist. He was, in fact, the campaign manager for Phil Murphy, who will be the next governor of the state of New Jersey and a freeholder in Essex County since 2011. Congratulations, Mr. Gill. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Thank you for having me. Can you give us the, I'm going to go old school on you, Reader's <laughs> Digest version of how this campaign, which, I don't know, a year and a half yeah. ago, people said, who's Phil Murphy? Yeah. Now he's the governor. Yeah, I mean, listen, I think um, really two years ago, uh, Phil um, came on the scene uh, in a real way. He was our U.S. ambassador to Germany under President Obama, person who uh, involved in philanthropy in New Jersey, but not someone who was probably a household name on the political scene uh, by any stretch of the imagination, uh, a person who uh, saw a problem uh, in terms of uh, where he thought this state was headed, raised his hand uh, to lead. Uh, and uh, yeah, on May 16th, 2016, we mm. launched our campaign for governor a year and a uh, probably almost a year and a half in advance of the primary. Uh, probably um, among most pundits, probably would consider to be at that time, um, you know, a long shot candidate. Very long shot. A very long shot candidate. Did you see and him that way? I didn't. I always saw uh, Phil as a person who had an unbelievable uh, skill set uh, that I thought was uh, the right person at the right time uh, for this job. Uh, he was a person who had a deep policy um, basis, uh, a person who took a lot of time to listen and understand mm -hmm. the issues, had created an organization, um, as you know, uh, just dedicated to that uh, purpose. Uh, I saw a purpose person who had tremendous um, retail political skills, a way to mm -hmm. connect with people, which is very, very important, obviously, in, uh, in public life, for sure. And, uh, and I also saw a, um, a, a, just a person whose resume really was just so impressive, you know, a, a person who served, uh, you know, worked on Wall Street, served as a U.S. ambassador to Germany, uh, a person who uh, pulled himself up, you know, came from nothing. If you've heard Phil tell his personal sure. story. Sure, told know, it right there. I was sitting a few yeah, months ago told middle, that middle story. Class on a, middle class on a good day, graduate of a public high school, you know, works his way through Harvard University um, and, uh, and takes off from there, you know. Let me ask you this, because we will, in fact, have Governor sure. Murphy sitting here engaging in a whole series yep. of discussions yep. on public policy issues. But the Brendan Gill story, right. public service in your blood, uh, I have sure. to disclose, I've known your dad yeah. for more sure. than a few years. <laughs> he was very influential in our son Nick's life. He was his Appreciate teacher, that. sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. Been he you. was teaching how many years he's been teaching? Uh, this will be his 40, and he'll probably get mad if I mess this up, maybe 45 or 46 at Montclair least. Yeah, in the Montclair schools. Schools. Public Schools. Um, did, uh, yeah. What sure. were you taught about public service as a kid? Uh, you know, listen, um, and people ask me all the time who's my hero, and my dad's my hero. Um, you know, he, um, he is uh, a person who um, essentially uh, found his passion, uh, but uh, throughout his life uh, encouraged young people to participate um, civically and in politics and government, not as a partisan matter. Not at all. You know, not as a partisan matter, um, but as a, as a person who... Uh, always thought that public life, public service, and giving back was important and should be an important part of, of your life. And he instilled that uh, in our family uh, growing up. And, uh, and I'm glad, thank you, Steve, for bringing him up uh, because he's been a, a person who doesn't, you know, he's a real hero. You know, he's not a person seeking the spotlight. He's not a person who's look, not a person looking to have his name uh, in the newspaper or that kind of thing. Um, but um, he's been recognized uh, lately um, in, in some different ways for, yeah. for his effort. And, uh, and it was a big deal to be able to, um, to grow up with that, that inspiration uh, to serve. It's what gave me the inspiration to want to serve and be a part of the, uh, the political process. By the way, check out the NJTV website, which we'll put up right now. There was a documentary that we aired here. It was actually called The One That Got Away. Yeah. It's about a young man yeah. in the public schools who your yeah. dad connected with. Um, and it's a powerful and poignant story. Just check that out. Uh, let's yep, come back sure. to you. Phil Murphy, can, campaigning is one thing, governing yep. is another. Yep. What would you say the top three issues governor, by the time this airs several times, uh, Governor Murphy will be facing in this state? Sure. I mean, I think first and foremost, uh, you know, we campaigned about building a fair and stronger economy that works for all in the New Jersey's 9 million residents. Uh, so what does that mean? You know, first and foremost, that means getting this economy back on track. Uh, New Jersey's economy has lagged behind uh, our neighbors uh, in New York and in Pennsylvania, and we need to uh, address that uh, immediately. That means improving our infrastructure, uh, which is something that Phil talked about uh, each and every 
every day. That means kind of reigniting uh, our biosciences industry that is such so critical uh, to New Jersey's economic success. That means a reinvigorated effort on rebuilding and continuing to rebuild um, our urban centers. That means strengthening our public education uh, system. So those are four things I How could... How about the pension situation? Oh, no question. Pension's a big public part employee, of that. I should clarify the public employee, employee pension crisis. I don't yeah. know, 50, 60, 70, 80, 80 billion dollars in, in, yep. in yep. they're in the hole. Yeah. I mean, I think, Steve, though, the, the real issue you there sure is... sure he I wants think, to be governor? Uh, it's, a question, <laughs> it's a question I ask them all the time. Okay, but just, just deal with that one. Well, you know what? It's, How tough? It, it's unbelievably tough. Right. It's unbelievably tough. And it's funny you say that, Steve, because I think the, the thing that um, we noticed, and we spent three years on the road, I spent three years on the road with him going up and down this state, and unfortunately, um, we didn't take too many meetings where somebody said to us, you know what, this is going really well in New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you can leave this what one alone. What a job right. this is. No, so, I, uh, no, it's going to be an unbelievably challenging job. But I, again, it's, you know, he didn't, as he has often said, you know, Phil didn't ask for this, you know, time in history, but it's, it's a challenge that, that he accepts. That being said, there's a lot of good news here in this state. There's a lot of optimism that we can turn things around. I think the results we saw last Tuesday show that people are ready to turn the page and that they're hopeful for a, for a change and a change in leadership, a change mm -hmm. in leadership style and a change in direction. Uh, and I think the results last Tuesday showed that. Uh, actually, what Brendan is referring to as we take this program around yeah. the holidays around Thanksgiving, um, with historic races in New Jersey and Virginia and some other places, real quick, Donald yeah. Trump, one word that comes to mind is? Oof. <laughs> look, look at you trying to get political. Uh, exactly. Just, I said that comes one, to mind. One, one word that comes to mind, divisive. Describe it. Um, you know, he just, uh, an us versus them mentality, uh, a have and have nots, a, an ability to try to, um, you know, distract people uh, from real issues. Uh, and, you know, I just unfortunately don't think um, a person, tough to describe in one word, but a person who um, I don't believe uh, ultimately um, is trying to appeal to the better nature of the uh, electorate. What's the appeal, of, sorry of the for interrupting, Brendan, what's the appeal of, of Donald Trump well, listen, for in New Jersey, millions? Uh, listen, I think... Um, I'm not, not so yeah. much in New Jersey, but yeah, some in New Jersey, but millions across for, this nation. Listen, I think, uh, you know, we could talk a lot about that. We could probably have a whole show just dedicated what to that. What do you think it is? I, I, listen, I think uh, that people are definitely feeling a, a degree of a disconnect um, from their leaders and from the political system. And that, um, and that for, for a variety of reasons, whatever he is saying or whatever he is talking about, they, um, they channeled that disconnect through their support of, of him. And that, that's not one thing. That could many be, things. That could be many things. That could be their economic situation. That could be their just general disgust uh, and feeling With that the, the government system, overall. government's just not working anymore. That could be because the idea that they just think it's better to have somebody from the outside. That could be a variety of, of factors of why um, someone would, uh, would support that style of, uh, of leadership. As you know, you see New Jersey, when you see his numbers in New Jersey, we're probably, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, a little bit as an outlier in terms mm -hmm. of his level of support, but um, I, I think there's, I think he ultimately, um, when he was elected, now we're talking about from when he was elected to now. Things have changed. Things have changed substantially, but I think there were a lot of reasons that people ultimately were, uh, were okay supporting him. Let me ask you this. Governor Murphy, President Trump, describe right. what you think that relationship will be. Listen, I think we're optimistic that on some of those issues, uh, like infrastructure, for example, that the relationship's going to be good. President Trump has said that he's committed uh, to rebuilding the nation's infrastructure. The Gateway Tunnel Project is probably going to be... Into New York City. You think, New York you think Trump's committed to that with money, federal money? Well, listen, money? He, has, he has, shockingly enough, he has said one thing and done another. <laughs> I know what you're... What Brandon, you, what are you trying to I mean, so, um, so what you look is him saying that he's committed to the project, but then you see him zeroing out part of the funding source, right. you know, in his federal budget. So infrastructure, uh, you think it, they'll be okay? Listen, infrastructure, we are hopeful and we're going to work hard to make sure, and I know Governor-elect Murphy, Governor Murphy will work hard um, to build that relationship. That's not, a, again... How are they going to be on immigration? So I think immigration, you're going to have some big differences. You know, you're going to have some big differences. And Phil has said it repeatedly that when he thinks Donald Trump is wrong, um, and that he's going to stand up to Donald Trump, that he's going to use the power of the office to stand up to the president. So whether we're talking about protecting our dreamers, uh, you know, the 20,000 uh, individuals who live in this, um, you know, in this state, who Phil has said repeatedly are every as American as his four kids, uh, he's going to stand up Affordable to the president. Affordable Care Act, yeah. uh, dismantling, hey, if yeah, you will, listen, replacing right now, Obamacare, as, as, New we, Jersey. as we afford this, the, uh, as, excuse me, as we uh, are taping this, the SALT uh, tax bill, the tax bill that's on the table right now. State so, and local state, taxes. State and right local now, taxes. we don't know how it's going to play out. 
Right. Can, you got a House bill, you got a Senate bill. Sure. In New Jersey, that's huge. Being able sure. to deduct that from your federal taxes it's because a, it's so it's so big. It's a um, it's a deduction. You know, it's a middle class deduction. It helps. It's an entry point for people to get into the middle class uh, here in this state. Uh, so that would be um, one in terms of the loss of revenue that we would just overall lose here, mm -hmm. uh, and then two, just allowing people. It, it's you know, getting that home ownership. Um, was one of the signs that you have made it, you know, in this in this country, and that we believe, and I know Phil believes that that would severely hurt uh, the opportunity for people to achieve that American dream. Also, fine. I think Brenda is also making reference to the fact that in New Jersey, um, our property tax bills are not especially low. As no uh, don't open up a Pandora's box. I just wanted Listen, to just make that snarky no, comment. They're, 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 <laughs> they're not low, but uh, and writing and being uh, able to write them off on your federal taxes is it, matters. Is it is a big deal. No okay. question. No question that that's a big deal. But I, I would say to your final point on that, Steve, if you, a few you seconds. Know, uh, Phil did an event yesterday with our congressional delegation. You're talking I about how it. we're going to interview, how we're going to interact with President Trump. We're going to make sure that we have a governor who works with our congressional delegation, Republican and Democrat, to stand up for the state when we think it's the right thing to do. By the way, check out NJTV News, the archives. That show, that, that actually story Absolutely. aired on NJTV News the night, night before. Brandon Gill is a Democratic strategist. He is an Essex County freeholder. And yes, he was the architect, the campaign manager for the Phil Appreciate Murphy that. campaign. Thank you. Um, thank you. Uh, all the best. And Appreciate it. Tell Thanks your dad for having me. that he I represents will. all public school teachers very well. I will appreciate that. Thank you. God bless. State of Affairs, same news. State of Affairs will be right back right after this. State of Affairs with Steve Adubato is a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. State of Affairs with Steve Adubato is brought to you from the Agnes Veris NJTV studio at 2 Gateway. Funding has been provided by Summit Medical Group. Delta Dental of New Jersey, the Healthcare Foundation of New Jersey, the New Jersey Reentry Corporation, New Jersey Sharing Network, Community Food Bank of New Jersey, and by NJM Insurance Group.